Hello and welcome back to Christchurch Kids Online. Today we're going to be looking at when Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. You might think you know lots of things about shepherds and sheep and keeping them safe and chasing them around with a dog. But when Jesus said it, he meant something a little bit different. We're going to find out about that later. We're going to hear from the Bible. We're going to do a craft. We're going to say some prayers. We're going to have a song. But first, we're going to go and find Milo the mouse. The Adventures of... Milo Mouse. I know. I know. I know. I I know. I know. I know. I know. I I know. I know. I know. I know. I I know. I know. I know. I know. I I know. I know. I know. I know. I I know. I know. I know. I know. Oh, hello. Hi. Hey, you haven't seen a sheep, have you? A small one? Yeah, about as big as you. No? Not anywhere. Oh, that thing, that sheep, it is always doing this. It's always running off. I don't know what I'm going to do about it. Ah, oh, I'll tell you what, I am tired of looking for that sheep and I expect it'll wander back. But do you know what I'm going to do? While I get my breath back, I am going to tell you a story about a man who had not just one sheep like me, he had a hundred sheep. He did. He had a hundred sheep and every day he used to take them out from their sheep pen and he used to take them up the mountain to eat grass on the high pasture. And while he was walking up the hill he used to sing a song and it was a counting song. He used to check that every single one of his sheep was actually there. And his song went like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and so on, all the way up to a hundred. But one day, as he was going up the pasture towards the top of the mountain, his song went like this. Ninety two, ninety three, ninety four, ninety five, ninety six, ninety seven, ninety eight, ninety nine. That's right. He could only get to ninety nine one of the sheep was missing. Well, he was really worried about that little one that was missing. So do you know what he did? He scampered off 
and he ran all over the mountainside, calling and calling, Little one! Little one! Little one! Little one! Until his cries echoed round the mountain and the evening started to draw in. And just at that moment, when he thought everything was lost and he was going to have to come off the mountain with just the 99 sheep that he had left, he heard in the corner a tiny little bleating noise. Can I hear it? Can I hear a little bleating noise? Can you help me? Do you think you could help me? Could you do some bleating for me? Really, really quietly to start with, to help me tell this story. Ready? Me. Really quiet. Me. 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 Can you do that? Me. Me. And then get it louder and louder as he gets closer and closer. Me. 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 And the shepherd eventually spotted the sheep fallen down a tiny hole in the mountainside, a little sort of dip, and he was too small and weedy to get out of it. So the shepherd climbed into the, into the depression and pulled out the sheep. And was that sheep pleased? You can bet it was. And was the shepherd pleased? You can bet he was. And so in real triumph, he carried that sheep all the way back to where the other 99 were. And he started his counting song. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thir and he carried on. And this time he got all the way up to 99. And then a hundred. He had all his sheep and he was so happy that when he came home at the end of the evening, he called up all his mates and they had a party together. And he was really, really happy. Oh, thank you for helping me tell that story. Now I better go and look for that little sheep that's still missing before it gets too late. You better go and have a look too. See, if, if you find it, let me know. Bye. You enjoyed that story. I wonder if you've ever lost anything, like maybe a favourite teddy or a favourite toy of some other kind. And if you have, you'll know what that sometimes feels like. It feels like the toy that you have lost is the one thing that you want more than anything else. And you might have other toys, you might have other teddies, you might have two or three other teddies. But the one that's missing is the one that really matters. And Jesus told this story, the story about the, the shepherd and the lost sheep, to say something about God and to say that God is a bit like us. Because when he's lost, not a thing, not a toy, but when he's lost one of us, so when one of us is, doesn't know about him or has heard about him but doesn't think that he really matters or is important to them, then he really, really, really longs for that person to come and be with him. And so that's what the, the story tells. The shepherd is like God. And when the sheep goes missing, that shepherd, God, will go and do anything to see if he can find that sheep, to find that person who is missing, who has gotten, gone away, who doesn't care about God. And in fact, the Bible tells us that God cared so much about the missing people that he came to earth himself as Jesus Christ 
and he was even prepared to die to rescue us. That's how much God feels the loss of us when we don't pay attention to him. And that's a really good thing to think about. Well, if you saw that story last year when we used it in family time, I really hope you enjoyed seeing it again. And if you saw it for the first time today, fantastic. I hope you enjoyed it as well. So to help us think about that story, it's worth remembering that Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. He wasn't just telling a story about someone else. He was talking about himself because he was looking forward to the time when he would have to give his life for the sheep, that is, give his life for us. So um, just to help us think about that, I've got a really quick craft that you can do. And the best thing about this craft is that you can eat it when you've finished making it. So that's really good. So we're going to be making edible sheep. So to start, you need a little ball of marzipan like this, and you just shape it into a sheep body form, like that. And then when you've done that, you get hold of some fondant icing. And the great thing about fondant icing is you can use it like a bit like modelling clay and you can stick it onto the marzipan just with your fingers like that. It's really easy, you don't need to roll, you can just press it into shape. And then, when you've done that, you can stick a little Face made out of card and some cocktail sticks which I've just dipped in black paint to make the feet and I've stuck on some little eyes these are the ones that come on a tape but it's also possible 
to use those googly eyes and you end up with a little edible sheet made of marzipan and fondant icing. And if you buy packets of fondant icing in different colours, you can make different coloured sheep because sheep come in all different colours, just like people. For our prayers today, we're going to do something we've done before. We're going to do arrow prayers. Arrow prayers. They're short, they're sharp, they're straight to the point. They don't mess around. We just say short prayers to God because God hears us when we pray, whether it's long and wordy or whether it's short and to the point. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we pray for our friends. We pray for our family. We pray for the people we love. Please keep them safe. We pray for all of those people who have been helping us during the last year, during the pandemic, for doctors and for nurses. And we pray for ourselves. Keep us safe, we pray. Amen. Well, I hope you've had another great week with us here at Christchurch Kids Online. And I do hope you can join us again next time. Goodbye.